Hey, what's going on? I am Jay Dudley, and this sounds like Doug DeMuro. If any of you watch uh, car content, you probably heard about Doug DeMuro, or that I think that's how you pronounce his name, but he reviews all types of vehicles. But this is my Ram Pro Master 2500 that's been parked for at least over a year. The chunk is... Uh, how do you do he's a year and some months what is that 14 months i don't do all of the math things uh that go along with that but um when my wife if you were following along uh my wife and i we packed up all of our things and headed west out here to oklahoma living in here she was pregnant uh again all the math things hey rex the rooster is right down there uh uh, she was pregnant. If you saw the, that's a big B. Um, uh, if you saw our last picture in New Jersey, uh, us in front of the van and how big her belly was, um, that was in November of 2020 when we left. Uh, yes, Rex. Thank you. Uh, we left in November 2020, and our little chunk was born in January, but we were living here uh, in the van in the middle of all of this, uh, all of this nothingness, um, and enjoying life. Before I left out, I built a, um, a queen-size bed frame, so we have a bed in there, I have solar on top, one of those Max Air fans, uh, a solar system set up um uh, a i converted a freezer into a refrigerator using this um uh this sensor that kills power to the freezer once it uh reaches temperature works out so much better you get a a bigger cheap freezer as opposed to like one of those Dometic uh, refrigerator freezer combination things that's so tiny but so expensive and it's running off of 12 volts in there uh, being charged by the sun. I uh, have a few other little trinkets and stuff in there, but like I said, this thing has been parked for a while and uh, um, with it being parked, mice found their way in there uh, and... Uh, chewing things up, messing things up. So far, with a few test drives, the engine seems to be okay. So none of the wires up front. They did mess up the uh, the wiring to my camera that I have on the back because uh, up here I have a dash cam and it also records to the back. So I use that for a mirror because I have the um, back windows covered. But not sure how, but the one of those back windows got uh, broken, but there was no uh, forced entry, maybe uh, from closing the doors. It just uh, cracked over time and then eventually shattered. So uh, right now, you know, well, one of the main reasons why we weren't using it is because there's no back seat in this van. I... Um, I had a whole timeline and plan put together to oh by this month i'm going to do this by that month i'm going to do that and it all got thrown haywire so we ended up uh moving out here oh also have a sink a 30 gallon water tank uh there was a shower that uh set up that i had in here uh most of that stuff i took out because living out here i had to figure out well, something broke in the uh, travel trailer that we um, that we're living in. So I would pull off parts from out out of the van and take it and like the hot water heater that I had in here. I took that out had it, had that in the uh, travel trailer. Now uh, inside here, I'm going to restructure some things around. I uh, tomorrow I'm going to be taking it to this place. Uh, out here in Oklahoma where they're going to build a frame for me to put seats on it, which I already purchased some seats uh, from a junkyard. And, and I think it was in a Chevy, 
uh, Chevy something. I, it, I've never heard the name of this vehicle before. Uh, maybe uh, if one of you remind me, I'll look through my pictures and find out what type of Chevy vehicle it was because I have the seats in there, but they're not installed. Also, like I said, one of the windows in the back is uh, uh, is shattered out, and instead of purchasing a piece of glass that gets glued on there, it, the windows are glued in here, uh, which I never knew anything about that. I'm going to put metal on the back and have it either riveted or grooved or sc screwed in or something. Well, the guy that I'm taking it to, he's going to take care of all of that for a really good, uh, really good price. But uh, right now I have to uh, finish cleaning up things in here. I also have to take up the floor that uh, Yosef Piri helped me with uh, back in New Jersey. See, I wasn't able to record all of this stuff when we were building it out because I was in such a rush trying to record things and uh, get everything uh, nice and situated uh, uh, to be able to show the world. I took a few pictures, but there wasn't enough time to uh, record and uh, go through the process of the van. And like right now, there's still no walls up. I was able to glue up insulation and I have it somewhat decent inside there going uh, through the winter that uh, my wife and I uh, was able to do. So as time goes on, I'm going to get some maybe vinyl flooring or something just to put some walls up, keep everything nice and secure, screw it in, rivet it in. I don't know. I, I have uh, little puck lights that are hanging from above. I, I just threw it together because on a timeline, wasn't much I would be able to do being an over the road truck driver and then getting, uh, getting on, um, uh, getting back home, uh, honoring the Sabbath and then back on the road again. So, uh, right now I'm going to open it up. Of course, my coffee cup with a sticker from sanctified supply co on it. Uh, in my pocket, get my van keys out, open it up, take you guys inside. That's it. Let's get a little bit closer to check it well, out. Well, as you can see, I was cleaning up some in here. It may not look like it to you, but it was a total mess. And uh, rat droppings, going to have to sterilize the whole thing. That's some of my solar setup. And right here, that's the thing. Well, to you, it's blinking numbers. But it says that it's 28 degrees here in the uh, freezer. And uh, it's set on the bottom number is set to uh, 32 degrees. So uh, using 12 volts, the um, inverter right there, that's the 120 uh, five watt battery. For some reason, that is not working. Have a little um, fuse panel for the smaller electronics. But uh, this thing right here it has a sensor that's uh, just draped on the inside and it keeps it at it turns it off so it doesn't freeze everything that's in there and just keeps it at 32 degrees so that works out as you can see that's the spot down over there that's the glass more glass that i have to clean up uh from the back window that's the queen size mattress that's up there this is the insulation uh that as you can see is on a wall hey uh, that's my wife's shower stuff from over a year ago still hanging there because we had here on the sink a little connection right there that um, uh, you would hook the um, shower hose up to that, pull it up, and we were standing in an IBC tote right here on the floor, hooked, I uh, might see some hooks up there where I would hook up the shower curtain to wrap around us to shower right here in the van. But uh, there's the frame of the bed. And back over there, have one of those diesel heaters that I might be taking out, switching up everything over to electric in here. Uh, electric heat and air conditioning. And in the back corner over there, you can see the diesel tank. 
that was feeding that um, uh, diesel heater. I might take it out, I'm not sure. It all depends on what I'm gonna do with this safe. If I'm gonna keep it, use it as a step to get up into the bed or uh, take it out of the van completely. But the task for today is to move all of this stuff under there, the chairs as well, because I have to take up uh, this panel right here so that uh, when I take the van to the guy, he'll be able to hook up these. Uh, well, he'll be able to weld a frame, put these uh, chairs on it and have it right here. So it's nice, safe and secure. Could put the little chunks uh, uh, car seat on here and that'll be good to go. Let's go around to the back. See the nice little tape job that I have on here. Uh, so he's going to be taking off this glass right here, uh, taking the rest of this glass off, putting up metal panels. And uh, also right here, I have on order the um, new camera right here because the mice, they chewed up the wire that I had inside. So that's the, um, the ultimate plan for everything. I uh, will see how everything progresses and how fast I can get it all done. Hopefully you all enjoy. Have a blessed day. Shalom. Hey, what's going on? I am Jay, Jay Dudley. I almost forgot how to say my name. Welcome back. I'm here in the van cleaning up stuff and uh, moving things around, getting ready for the installation. Well, you see, I moved the safe. I had to take the battery off of the safe. I might have to disconnect the solar setup right over here uh, so that the battery can be completely out the way or hopefully... If I have it sitting right over here, it should be fine. I'm about to uh, finish cleaning up and get this um, this panel up that I'm standing on uh, and see what crazy damage is going on down there. But I'm going to unscrew all of this, uh, get that up so I could drop the van off tomorrow to get these seats installed. All right, well, before all the rain and stuff comes, I got all the screws out. Let me take these out, get them on the ground and see what we got going on under here, under this wood panel. Ugh. All right, well, let's move this. I'm gonna have to uh, wiggle it a little bit, try and get the battery to stay in place over there while I get this out. Lifting up nice and easy. Check under there. It's actually not too bad. Uh, let's pull the uh, vacuum cleaner by its cord, the window shades. And more crap that I got to toss out. And let's see. Woohoo! Slide that some more. Well, the battery is holding on by the cord. And it's off. Yay! Oh yeah, I got a right over here on this side that that's the door. So when we put it back in, know exactly where it's supposed to go. So let me do that now. And it's about to come down. Oh, 
Whoa, what's that? Oh, these giant fl uh, flies out here in Oklahoma. Okay, got that all marked up. And now I just got to get in here. We'll pull this out, get under the insulation, start vacuuming everything out, and then get the van over to the guy that's going to weld the seats in place. But it's starting to rain, so I got to get moving. Shalom. Shalom.